Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some popper slivers, and today we're up against CGG, CG, CGJ, CGJ, CGJ. We won the die roll, and it looks like we have. Oh, hmm. I could go winding way for some lands. Seems like a waste, but I don't really want to. Ugh, toss this back. I mean, this is a strong hand if we can pull into a plains. Hmm. This is interesting. Don't know how to feel about this. I'm gonna. I'm on the play. Uh, I'll keep. I'll winding wait for lands if we have to. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's see if this is gonna be strong enough once I winding way this out. We shall see. I'm curious. CGJ, what you got? Burn? Uh, oh, Faithless. Okay. Don't Ulamog me right now. Come on. I don't want to see it. Battle Screech and Rally the Peasants. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to go searching. Haven't done this in a while. We find the planes. That's good. Found everything we need, really. Another Faithless. So I think I'll go like Muscle into Sidewinder and then put down a Thriving Heath on the next turn. Or I put down Thriving Heath next turn and just put out a Muscle. Another Bally Screech, another Rally the Peasants, and they're stuck on one land. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, let's do Thriving Heath. And we'll call red and we'll put down muscle and we'll just start getting set up while they're while they're a little bit mana screwed that's not great for them oh they found it though all right they found it but now we can get going quite a bit oh uh, how do I want to run this here probably you And you. Seems reasonable. Next turn, we can drop both our plated and then lead the stampede. Oh, okay, I see you. I see you. Jeez. Take your time. I was just about to say we can get out of range quickly, too. But they they were hanging on to that lightning. That's fine. Thraben Inspector. Seeker of the Way. Okay. I can handle it. I'm not super worried right now. Ooh, we get a Predatory. It's beautiful. Uh, let's go here. And here. And here. And see the concession in 3, 2, 1. Boop. Let's go in. They're going to hang in there. They got some stuff going on. They got these flashbacks. They're probably going to need to battle Screech if they want to survive. Squadron Hark Hawk. All right. Cool. They can put a couple of those down. I'd love to get a hunter next turn and just bang, you're done. You gonna play out another? Yep, all right. Sounds good. And the battle screech. Yep. Cl 
plus two. Hmm. Okay. Another planes. Okay. Let's go ahead and go like this. Muscle and a sidewinder. Any order. Really don't care. Let's put him down. They have to make blocks now so they can't kill us with like a rally the peasants. I don't believe. Can they double do it? No. Okay. I think I'm fine with this. Unless they get another mountain next turn. And then, I don't know, they might be a little shy still from killing us. And we could still block the Seeker if we need to. Flanking, flanking. Get it all out of the way here. Take 12, go to 2. How are you going to play this? Another squadron. Okay. Playing out the squadrons. All right. That's fine. Uh, I think they still die here, right? Yeah, they're still dead. Yeah. Mm, should play that differently. I wonder if they could have... They could have tried to play... Rally and give Seeker some lifelink. It would have been like they dumping them in into our creatures basically, but like they could have gained some life, blocked, and then survived. Possibly, mm, I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about figuring it out. We got it. Uh, let's see. What do we want here? Definitely Spinneret. Take out a Sentinel. Prismatic. Do I want to bring in Swift Response? I don't know. Hunter's good in this matchup. Striking's good. Good. -d 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 -d. Take out a Viverlint. Or one gem. Take out one gem. Take out one gem. Hide. That's fine. Let's see how this goes. Interesting. That is an odd hand, man. <sighs> Striking into Hunter, and then we have a few turns to grab a forest. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about this. This might be a mistake to keep this. Some interesting land hands, though. It's making me want to test, you know, see what the deck can do. So we go mountain striking, plains hunter, or forest gem hide or something. I want. I'm curious. I'm curious. Let's let's play around here. We're here to practice. We're here to get better. We're here to see how our deck can handle certain hands. And when I see a hand like this that I haven't really seen before, uh, it makes me curious. It makes me see. All right, can we recover from a hand like this? I wouldn't even necessarily call it like a recover. Uh, unless we start getting mana screwed by not pulling into our forest. But it's like, alright. Can our deck manage for two turns while we draw into that forest, you know? And that's already uh, a good start. At least we're getting things we can play. So. At this point, I think I'm going to lead with the plated. So I don't necessarily want the striking just dying needlessly because it is such a powerhouse against their deck, along with Hunter. But so I'll play out the plated first. See what they want to do. They're not mana screwed this time. Squadron hawking it up. See, this is where 
The hunter's going to be really nice. Just start taking out all these squadron hawks and stuff like that. Even the striking. I think I'm still... Hmm. Now I'm in a spot where I'm like, what do I want to play first here, you know? But let's, let's see what we draw. There's our forest. Beautiful. Um, okay, well, the answer is obvious now. Get out what we can get out while we can get out it. Set up for some nice swing-ins next turn. Let them play a few more squadron hawks. And then we can slam a hunter and start just taking all of them out. Seems reasonable to me. If they go for that play. If they hold up uh, a mountain, that means they're pretty intimidated here. <laughs> and they want to kill something. They want to kill something. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting turn of events. I have a prismatic. Could go predatory and then our hunter swing in with two. They take out our predatory. Is that wise? Is that wise? Let's let's do it. We'll do the play. We'll show them what's up. What I'm mainly concerned about is why are they holding up planes? Like, maybe they just can't do anything with it, but, you know. Uh, yeah, we are going to provoke with the gem hide, not with the plated. Let's see if they take out something here. Or if they just let it go. A braid, okay. Alright. That's fine. We still take out their squadron hawk. We still have... We made them use removal on our lord instead of our, like, key pieces. I want these key pieces to stay in play as long as possible. If these two are in play, I don't think they have a chance of winning. We have lords to spare. These are our only copies. Which made me, like, hesitant to play them out early, but, you know, again, it's like we're forcing their hand a little bit to deal with stuff here. Bolivian. But who are you going to take? Gemhide. Well, that was a waste. Why would you take Gemhide? What's your plan there? Why wouldn't you take a hunter? Hmm, I don't know about that play. I mean, I get it, we're a scary deck when it comes to gem hides, but like... Ta-da! Now what? Um... Yeah, I don't really care about getting out another... Well, I could. Mm-hmm. I think I just want to get in for... Th I'm just debating on if I want to play out the other gem hide or not. I guess it... I guess what we can do is swing in with two here and set up for a bigger play with a refill or something. Uh, just not the best play, but swinging in for three isn't that much either, so I guess I'm okay with it. Now we got two gem hides. You're making this Oblivion Ring look uh, pretty silly. Pretty silly. I still got a lot of cards in hand though, and they still have three Squadron Hawks I can play. They can play two of them right now. So we can get out some blockers, but... Thraben, it's a good start. That's at least a blocker for them. Kind of want them to tap... Ooh. 
Bone Splitter. Not fun. Squadron Hawk. Okay. Okay. Squadron Hawk. So we need like a Lord. Boros Garrison. Getting the double mana. They're down to two cards. Those two should be Squadron Hawks. Yeah. And what and a Windscarred Craig, which they brought back to hand. Okay. So we have perfect information. And we get a Lord. Bada bing, bada boom. Beautiful. Now you don't have nothing good here. Sorry. Uh, yeah, we'll provoke you. We'll provoke you. And yeah, we'll just... Yeah, we'll do this. We'll do this. And then we'll say okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Bang. Bang. Hidden for six. Clearing your board. You have two squadron hawks and a bone splitter. I don't care anymore. Boom. It doesn't mean that they can't get back to some semblance of uh, control if they just like kill our lord or our hunter. Now they'd want to kill our lord at this point I think because now the power is scary with the... Well they just would have a squadron hawk. It doesn't really matter. It's it's kind of GG at this point. I don't know what else they could do really to really solidify getting there. They gain one with this. The problem is this hunter, man. This hunter is their undoing, which I knew it would be. It's the best thing for this deck. Hunter and striking. Yup, yup. I mean, they're playing it out. Kudos to them. I appreciate it. I've already had two people leave early on me. They win game one and then they leave game two. What? What are you doing? Equip? Sure. It's the first strike that gets you, though. It's the first strike. It's not going to matter. Ready? You're tapped out too. I'm gonna go balls deep here and provoke on this. What you gonna do about it? Click through these. Click through these. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Boop. First strike, baby. See you later. Go to six. Play our land. We'll show them. They have perfect information, too. What can you do? What can you do? They play a land. They have one card in hand. What is it? What is it? What is it? Crack a clue. Crack a clue. Crack it. He's going for it. I appreciate this guy. CGJ, thank you for playing the game. Thank you for being a good sport. Thank you for trying. I appreciate it. Uh, looks like he might have a lightning bolt here, actually. So he could survive maybe like another turn, which good for him. Kill a couple things, survive another turn. Or he concedes. It's kind of lagging. Might be a concession. He can kill the Lord and take five. So maybe that's what he's doing here. Or he didn't have it. He didn't have it, but thank you, CGJ. Thank you. I applaud you for staying in the game and being a good sport. Good game. Very good game for us. Good sideboarding from us, I think. Leave a like if you did enjoy that one. Make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Try and hit the 1K gold. And if you enjoy this content, we got more coming Wednesday. We got more coming Friday, and we got more coming in between daily content, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.